Hi! Due to the way YouTube works, I want to make a quick announcement before this video. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button or leaving a small comment. It really helps. If you feel like helping even more, you can check my Patreon or Ko-fi accounts. All the links are in the description box. Thank you! Greetings! Today, I'm particularly honored and grateful to be able to present these paints to you. These are the beautiful Lutea artisanal watercolors made in Belgium from sustainable plant and natural sources. The artisan behind these paints is Anne-Sylvie Godot. These watercolors come in 12 colors, 11 of them are made from 9 plants, and one color is made from cochineal, a bug. The plants are either cultivated, gleaned, recycled, or have an historical background. You can see from the color wheel in the pamphlet that the natural colors are lovely. The unique colors that result from the artisanal process are truly unmatched. Each plant was chosen for its high-quality dyeing properties and for its light fastness. Because of their organic origin, plant-based paints have a reputation for not being light fast. The Lutea paints have been tested in that aspect and they all rate from good to very good in terms of light fastness. Here I have six of the watercolors available. Grey, dark green, yellow, dark orange, red and violet. The paints are offered in tubes of 9 ml. The grey is made from recycled strawberry plants, the dark green is made from gleaned meadowsweet, the yellow is made from recycled goldenrod plants, the dark orange is made from recycled thyme, the red is made from historical mother roots, and the violet is made from historical logwood plants. I poured a bit of each paint in a flower palette with a lid to see how they dry and reactivate. When I came back to it, I saw that two of the colors in the palette had dried to the point of detaching from the palette. The others looked like they would be easy to pop off as well. I used distilled water in a dropper bottle to rewet the paints and I let them sit for a brief moment before setting out to paint the swatches. After the first round of swatches, I felt like some colors were still a bit too hard, so I decided to paint new swatches using fresh paint to compare. I also painted a strip at the bottom to see if the paints move in water or not. They don't spread much, but that can be resolved by adding a small amount of ox gall to your water. The color from the dry paints became as strong as the fresh paints with a bit more time and water to soften them. The Lutea paints are made with pigment, honey, glycerin and gum arabic, which is a good standard recipe for watercolors. They can be used along with your other 
more conventional paints using synthetic or mineral pigments with no problem. To test the paints, I tried two different approaches. The first one was to work like I usually do for these studies, with a very simple sketch and no line work. I also did a second drawing, but this time I inked it with black waterproof ink, and I used the Lutea paints to create color accents. I think both ways to use the paints work fine. I love how they mingle and layer on the paper. I would love to get the rest of the color range so I have more options for mixes and subjects. As an example, not having the indigo blue would make painting water a bit more complex in a lot of cases. The Lutea paints have a special place in my heart for many reasons. I'm in awe of the process behind these colors and I feel like the connection with the plant sources makes these paints even more special. Most paints we are used to are made from minerals or synthetic pigments, so Lutea has a truly unique approach and result. They also put the focus on the sustainability of their resources, which I find really refreshing considering our current consumer trends. I would suggest visiting the Lutea website to look at all the images on the site, to get a more complete idea of their paintmaking process. If you've looked for artisan-made paints before, you're probably aware that they are generally a bit pricier as well. And these are no exception. However, the Lutea paints are so special that, in my opinion, they have more in common with a treasure than your regular tube of paint. And, by all means, not a treasure to leave untouched, but one where everything it's used for is made that much more special. They are definitely not for everyone or every art piece, but if you want to add something very different to your collection, these do the trick wonderfully. The only thing to keep in mind is to always work with them fresh from the tube rather than from a dried pan. I will also include a link to a blog post from Jackson's Art website. They made a lot of tests and mixes with the Lutea colors, and it's very interesting to see all the extra information they bring. They show how colors spread with Oxgall, how they layer and mix. I will work towards slowly completing my collection to get the full range of 12 colors, even if it takes me a good while. What about you? What do you think of these paints? Do you feel like you'd enjoy using them? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye bye.